Thank you for inviting me to participate in this conference. Also, I would like to con congratulate you on your many years of dedication and perseverance on this topic, which is medicine before, during and after the Holocaust. In my research, I dealt with the phenomenon of suicides committed by a number of Jewish doctors and other medical workers after the Ustasha came to power in the independent state of Croatia, but also in other parts of Yugoslavia during the Second World War, as well as those who committed suicide before being taken away or during transport to the camp. I used the sources list of Jewish health workers, victims of the Second World War in Yugoslavia, which was published back, back in 1973. Then the <coughs> literature, then censuses for the census of victims in Yugoslavia, which was conducted in 1964, as well as online database of Yad Vashem. Suicide is a long-term phenomenon and a disease of society that affects all generations, people, people's classes, genders, etc. Suicide is on the one hand a renunciation of life, but on the other hand it represents a kind of rebellion. Suicide represents a desperate decision, but also a kind of protest. Suicide is ultimately the silence, but also the cry of the desperate. Because for him, it is not just an ordinary death. According to previous research, the most suicides occur in times of crisis, while the number of suicides decreases in times of wars and economic prosperity of the country. During wars, the suicide rate decreases because people sacrifice themselves in battle. Numerous examples of suicides can be found in historical texts and literature. Among them are examples of the defeated in civil wars committing suicide in order not to fall alive into the hands of the enemy. In the old century, suicide was a common occurrence. There are examples of Roman senators who, who committed suicide after their plot failed. There are many theories from experts in various fields as to why suicides occur. Most everyone agrees that people kill themselves out of desperation. There are many motives and methods of suicide. For example, in Japan, suicide is a part of tradition or custom. In Japan, the tradition of voluntary death arose from the 12th century. And from then until today, Japan has never renounced the principle of dying due to specific individual psychology and customs, there was a large number of suicides among <coughs> samurai. Although the samurai disappeared in the 18th century, when the modernization of Japan began, their ethics remained. Honor, courage, loyalty, self-sacrifice, discipline, sacrifice, and more. Ethics remained and projected that one should sacrifice for the state. 
for the nation and the emperor. Knowing this, it is not difficult to understand the voluntary that of the kamikaze or, or the long refusal to surrender to the enemy in the Second World War. After the capitulation of Japan, there were numerous examples of suicides due to the defeat, conscious shame, protest, etc. After all, Adolf Hitler also committed suicide in a hopeless situation. In the times when the occupiers and quislings imposed certain customs and the rules on the Yugoslav occupied territory and the societies that lived there, a number of Yugoslav Jewish health workers choose their own fate, not accepting the fate that others intended for them. At the moment when they were threatened with the denial of their freedom, or at the moment when it was taken away from them, they decided to exert their, their right to commit suicide. A total of 930 Yugoslav Jewish health workers <coughs> lost their lives during the Second World War. Another 205 of them died as fighters of the partisan resistance movement. According to the results of my research, 19 Yugoslav Jewish health workers choose self-destruction, or about 2% of the total of 930 people who died as victims of Nazi terror. According to data, members of the Ustasha movement, Yugoslav collaborators, were directly or indirectly responsible for nine people who committed suicide and for 10 people, the Nazis. According to, to the data so far, only one Yugoslav Jew, a health worker, committed suicide outside the borders of Yugoslavia. It is this victim, and you can see his death. However, we cannot draw any conclusion from this case, so that is why we are moving on to the suicides that were committed on the territory on the, of the then occupied Serbia. Before that, I have to give you some brief information about the war in Yugoslavia so that you can understand the circumstances of these suicides. Germany and its allies attacked the, the Kingdom of Yugoslavia on April 6, 1941. The war ended on April 17, 1941 with the occupation and division of Yugoslavia between the Axis powers. In Yugoslavia, the Jewish question, I mean final solution, was implemented in most of the territory during 1941 and 1942. Exceptions are the Macedonian Jews, who were sent to the Treblinka camp in 1943 and the Jews who were in uh, the territory of Yugoslavia, which was occupied by Hungary. They were sent to Auschwitz during 1944. Here you can see some uh, 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 short biographies of the victims, and uh, as can be seen, the victims committed suicide immediately after the occupation of Yugoslavia. Now um, we move on to suicides on the territory of the independent state of Croatia. Here you can see short biographies of the victims. 
it is characteristic that four out of five victims committed suicide in Zagreb. The circumstances are the same as in the previously presented cases. The suicides were committed after the occupation of Yugoslavia. With the exception of the last victim, we should bear in mind the, uh, the fact that the Jewish issue was mostly resolved in 1942. That is, most Jews were killed in 1941 and 1942 on the territory of the independent state of Croatia and, of course, in Serbia. From these examples, <coughs> we can view the first conclusion. The suicides were committed immediately after the occupation of Yugoslavia. I have shown you several examples on two territories, on the territory of resisted Serbia and on the territory of the independent state of Croatia. However, <coughs> the other examples, which I will show you now, point to another conclusion. They indicate that the suicides were committed while being taken to the camp or during transport to the camp. Here you can see four cases of suicide on the territory of the independent state of Croatia. The first two victims are a married couple and both victims committed suicide. Exactly the same is the case with the Yugoslav Jews who were in the Yugoslav territory that was occupied by Hungary. Uh, that is the part marked by orange, yellow. Today is a greater part of Serbia and a smaller part of Croatia, a region called uh, brief information, uh, in March 1944, the German troops entered Hungary and immediately after that, during uh, May and June 1944, uh, the Jews from Bačka were sent to Treblinka camp. This was done by the Hungarian fascists, but, but clearly under the influence of the Germans, the Nazis, under the pressure of the Nazis. Here you can see the victims of suicide. The circumstances are the same as in the territory of the independent state of Croatia. The victims committed suicide before being taken away or during, during transport to the camp, which tell us that they were aware of the fate that awaited them. In addition to these people who committed suicide, I also find out that one person tried to commit suicide. Although the suicide was not successful, this person eventually died in the Ustasha camp of Stara Gratiška. It is this victim. And which tells us that she was aware of the fate that was destined for her. And in summary, based on these 19 victims, my 19 victims, we can only draw two conclusions. The first conclusion, the suicides took place immediately 
after the occupation of Yugoslavia. Another conclusion, the suicides were committed before being taken away to camp, to the camp or during transport to the camp. And both conclusions indicate that Jews, Yugoslav Jews, were aware of the fate that awaited them. Thank you.